Recently a study came out in the press that indicated that red meat and processed meat weren't as bad as we thought all these years. Now, a number of scientists came out and called it fake news, those are my words, sticking to their recommendations that we limit red meat to three or four times a week at most, and that we basically kind of avoid those processed meats like bacon and ham and, and sausages. Now, my feeling is that it's not just about what we do eat, but also about what we don't eat. So that if you eat a high fat, low fiber diet, that means lots of meat and not very many vegetables, you set yourself up for all kinds of problems. On the other hand, we know that a plant-based diet with lots of fruits and vegetables and beans and legumes and whole grains help to protect us, not just against cancer, but heart disease and diabetes. So what I like to think is that it's not that one food is gonna cause cancer. It's about a pattern of eating and what you do most of the time. So for example, I might, I'm a flexitarian, right? So I eat mostly vegetarian, but I would have no problem eating a burger on the 4th of July or having a, a, a hot dog at a Dodger game. Go Dodgers. Uh, but you can guarantee that my plate and my diet is full of all of these different kinds of vegetables. For example, we know that garlic slows tumor growth and decreases the ability of a carcinogen to cause cancer. And we know that, that broccoli turns on those genes that suppress cancer. And we know that extra body fat increases our risk of 12 different kinds of cancer. So while it may be true that you know, a high amount of meat and processed meats increases your risk of colorectal cancer by 16% is what they're saying. What we really want to focus on is, is a pattern of eating that helps us to protect our health from all kinds of diseases. And that is smart eating.